Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about continuous improvement. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, as a software engineer, how would you continuously improve the software that your team builds? Well, uh, I'm a big fan of the boy scouting rule. Um, it's actually funny because I was telling my yeah, few people that I work with today we have these weekly little get-togethers where we talk about code and how things are going and share like how things work in their various teams because we're cross team now it's cross team community and I was telling them that uh, one of the things that I always uh, always sort of fascinates me is how on average it's not that many developers who actually do the boy scouting rule because boy scouting for a lot of people is to well basically to do some minor little tweak here and there like they might change a variable name and so forth but nobody's really trying to address like something that is slightly bigger not a full-blown refactor but rather boy scouting a segment of the code and so I gave them an example of where I was doing this thing because uh, I was explaining to them that one of the things that usually happens when you're dealing with a product that has sort of started fall start falling away from from good practices and so forth, which can happen and in some cases you, in very many cases actually, you get handed such a project, is that you just continue doing that. You ju it's like a, uh, it's like a fat person uh, not starting to think about what they eat because they're already fat and it's that's a mindset that never changes anything. So the thing that I try to do is that I try to show that I, I try to do the bare minimum to start off with and see where that leads, if that makes sense. Because f the most fundamental thing that I argue for is that if you can't get someone to do the basics of what is continuous improvement or continuously improve something, then there is no point in trying to make something more advanced because the foundation for a lot of the more advanced stuff and like true change, it happens first at the basic level and then you can make something more advanced and if you don't have a solid foundation of these good practices or the things that uh, actually makes the real difference in place or culture around it, odds are that you will make an improvement that is more advanced and it turns out that actually this is going to turn out poorly because the thing that I usually say if you have a, it doesn't matter how amazing your system or solution or your whatever improvement is, if you have shit people or people who don't really know any better or don't care or like uh, have no interest in maintaining this thing then it's just legacy waiting you can keep it alive for as long as you have the energy to keep it up but it's ultimately gonna fall to shit and that's why I'm a big believer in the boy scouting rule and the way that I usually boy scout things is that I try to create a cutoff point if an ex my favorite example is I've had that conversation with many software developers where they they update a component, and in my poll rec in my code review, I tell them they would be real. Like this entire component is untested, or like this thing that you just added. It would be great if you wrote some tests for it. And they go, no, I can't because this thing that I'm making, it's like tied into this class or this component. Like if it's a visual thing, it doesn't really matter what it is. They came come up with an excuse saying that all oh, this code is untested and it's difficult to write tests for this stuff. And I go, yeah, so refactor it. And then other potentially other excuses might come but if if they're if they do the boy scouting thing they will actually restructure the code so that it is testable and that's always a risk for a lot of software developers because now you increase the scope of what could potentially break and you don't want to take out on that risk you don't want to scope creep you don't want to because you're afraid that you know if you're not in this continuous delivery mode where like you're basically spitting out code within the Comfort comfortable time period, you're going to be in the hot seat, and this is the thing I'm talking about: a a group of people who think in this way, who can't do the basics, because the basic would be refactor some small part of this code here so that it is testable, so that it is cleaner, and that we can like actually do these basic things that you should have done the first time around, but you didn't. For you know, I know the reasons, and everybody knows them, but here we are. 
and you don't even try to do uh, to make an improvement once the problem is there like you have the chance you have the opportunity you're actually working on this thing then that indicates to me that this is not a individual who's going to do all that much in terms of like help out with the continuous improvement the beautiful part about this is that it doesn't have to be anybody else doing it it actually works if just you do it so it doesn't matter if you're at the team level team lead level or if you're a software developer or whatever you can always do this you can always say that no I will not fall into shim programming and unless somebody sells tells me that no don't do this or like we are against testing or like we are against a quality process or something like that well then practically everybody can do this and they can start right now it's in a sense at a very super philosophical level it's the same thing what is that old saying if you want to change the world start with yourself this is what I do this is how I continue to improve the software and then I have a lot of other tricks where you know there is I have what I like to say like a base setup that I know that is going to work for 100% of the time uh, of practically for every team it's the basics as I said having linting having type checking having a CI pipeline with automated testing etc etc all these sorts of setups and then even like work process related things and so forth that always works these are usually I've said so to a few new team leads as well these things are going to give you 80% of the value but before you get into the continuous improving of software you have to sort of realize that the problem with continuously improving on something is that it requires you to truly understand if you're going to do it sustain in a sustainable way to truly understand when you have a good idea and when you're just hyping tools or if you're like falling into a fad or something like that and that's why I so strongly promote the boy scouting rule because the boy scouting rule will breathe in a culture of continuous improvement within your team which means that anything that you do decide to uh, put your efforts into if you want to be do something bigger and so forth is more likely to be sustainable but even, as I said to me most of that stuff is like the 20% those sorts of improvements we are usually nice to have this is critical this is the sort of stuff that makes the difference on a daily basis and like the entire lifespan of the of the of the project and it's so rare that I see software developers I feel that that is important you have an army of people who are very excited about showing the showing you their new awesome framework or their awesome new tool or utility function that does something cool and magical but ask them to make sure that the code has the proper test cases and that it's working properly fuck no unless they have to they're not going to do that if, uh, especially if not if they didn't write the code to start off with. So what I want you to take away from this is that the way that I continuously improve code is by Boy Scouting because it is, in my opinion, it's the bare minimum you should start with because it leads to greater things. Most of the like uh, like continuously improving software type of stuff, it never it's like it's big scope sort of things it's stuff that you do once or twice you put them in place when it really matters some people are like they're addicted to this where like they're in a constant process of migrating to something or a constant process of adopting some new framework some new tool and usually that actually turns out in my opinion it's sort of like you know those reality shows that are so real where like every week there's like a big new thing that happens for like the ice road truckers or some pawn shop dude well you know that it's fake when it ha like these gigantic monumental things happen every single week because most people go their entire lives and have maybe just a few things happen that are interesting in their life having that so regularly isn't really realistic and it's the same thing with software having these big improvements that really makes the difference that's something you find every once in a while but these tiny little things that actually makes the big difference such as boy scouting and actually adding test coverage and making sure that you're improving your test suite and 
uh, like doing small refactors when you're actually touching code that is relevant and make sure that it has a good quality. These are the things that make up the everyday and should make up the everyday. It's, as I like to say, if you want to make an impression on someone or a connection with another human being, it's the tiny conversations, the micro conversations and the FaceTime that makes the difference, not the Christmas party that you have once a year or like that one time you go to dinner to each other with each other. These are not the these are the big um, things that dot a landscape that should be built on a good foundation of smaller smaller things. And the most important thing, usually, I argue for continuously improving software, is the Boy Scouting. It is the thing that will make the biggest difference to your project once, like the plumbing is basically set up, as I said, like CI pipelines and like all of this sort of stuff. Once that is in place, it's better for you to focus on this than it is to try to find the next sort of nice thing that could do something because this is this is the stuff that's going to make up the meat of the quality of your overall system have a great day